Welcome back to our Tabby Talks website. We are still moving on with more examples and more of it still on partial fractions. And now we are going to look at type 2, which we are dealing with a denominator with a repeated factor. So we are looking at type 2, we are looking at denominator, denominator with a repeated factor, with a repeated factor. So, we want to look at these cases where the factor is repeating several times. And say examples, examples of repeated factors, examples of repeated factors are we have got x squared comma x cubed comma x minus two squared comma x plus one cubed comma x minus three squared comma x c power four and many others and many others you can see that all these numbers are repeating this one you can see like x squared is appearing two times, x is appearing two times, x cubed. It means that x is appearing three times, x minus two squared, they are appearing several times. So all those scenarios, we term them to be repeated factors. So in this type of the, of the passive fraction, we are going to look at a scenario where the denominator is having such a kind of the cases as we are going to be looking at them. We are starting with example one. We are saying express 2x plus 1 all over x minus 3 squared in parcel fractions. In parcel fractions. So we want to express 2x plus 1 all over x minus 3 the whole of it squared. You can see x minus 2, 3 is appearing two times. For this case, we do them in this way. 2, I've got 2x plus 1 all over x minus 3 squared. This is the same as, also see, if you look at the mind inside the bracket, the number which is there is a linear. So we are going to have a out of x minus 3 plus b out of x minus 3, the whole of it squared. So we get the LCM. The LCM is going to remain the same. So we are going to have 2x plus 1 is the same as a into x minus 3 plus a b. So what are we going to do? We are going to still use our real methods to do the same. So we are going to use the covering up method. You can say using the covering up, using the covering up method. We want to use the covering up method. We are going to use to eliminate, you are using the method which are calling the covering up method. I can start by saying if x equals three, we are going to substitute in both in the left hand side and together in the right hand side. We are going to have 2 into 3 plus 1 equals a. 3 minus 3, we are getting a 0, then plus b. So 2 times a 3, we are getting a 6, and a 6 plus 1, we are getting a 7. It means our value of b equals 7. Again, you go ahead and substitute in. You can now substitute in any value which you feel is good for you. I can start by saying if x equals a 2. 14, we are getting a 2 into 2 plus 1 equals a into 2 minus 3 then plus a b. So we are getting this is a 5 equals negative a plus b. But do we know our value of b? B we know as 7. So we are having 5 equals negative a plus 7. Bring this side here, we are getting negative 2 equals negative a. So dividing throughout by negative 1, a 
that amounts to positive 2. So we said therefore we have got 2x plus 1 all over x minus 3 squared equals what is the value of a? a is already 2. We are going to write 2 out of x minus 3 plus what is the value of b? is already 7. We say 7 out of x minus 3 squared. We well, have finished expressing this one into the required parcel fraction, having the mind of a repeated factor.